Welcome to Tecla Structure Designer Beginner Tutorial. We have opened up the Tecla Structure Designer software. First, we need to go to Setting. Sign in already. First, go to Setting. Setting tab will come up here. Then in this course, we will use Singapore setting. How you can add the setting? You can import a new setting. Ireland. Or a new setting. UAE. Whatever you like, you can import. So, if you want to delete, I just remove it. Remove. UK setting, you can remove. UK setting, you can remove or you can add. So now we will use Singapore setting. So we need to add it. Then OK. After that, you can go to material setting. Go to material. For session, you can use unique is metric, code is Singapore Euro code. For T stretcher, material, steel, you can manage session everything. Concrete, timber, everything you can edit. Let's go to material. Euro code for T, you have added, already added. S two three five two seven five three five five four six zero and many more. Stick grid. Then you can add your sub. Just keep the name four five zero whatever. Then you can add your sub if you want to customize. Cancel. For concrete setting, we have. From grade 16 to grade 90. Okay, if you want to add, you can add. You need to input the properties. Cancel. But these are already added enough for this project. Reinforcement Singapore country Singapore loose bar is normal bar. It's called type 2. Then you can use mesh. Although you can Add your sub. If you want to add, you can add. You need to key in the properties of the steel material. You want to add for mesh or you can add for loose bars. Now here we have grade 500 is already at 485 So now okay, this setting is enough for us. For 500 grade viva we have R diameter 6, 8, 10, 13, 16, 20, 25, 32, 40. And close. Now we will start a new project. Go to file, new. When we start a new project, they a lot of ribbon will come. This is called quick access toolbar. These are the ribbons. We have whole beam integration model. You can do construction level, grid line, you can model steel structure, column, beam, brace, joist, truss, water plate. 
of concrete, column, beam, course, slab, slab on beam, flat slab, weakest composite slab, and many other. For edit, you can copy, copy loads, move, mirror, delete, join, split, reverse, in lines, a lot of data. Load, you can create load case, load combination, and so on. This properties later I will show you. Now first we we can start with construction level. So go to model. This is a property project workspace area. Here your structure tab status report index loading. These are the properties browser. These are loading drop down list. Later you will know. So now first we will go to construction lab. Construction lab. This is automatic already set. It's zero. If you want to add, you can add insert above. Then first story. Insert insert insert. This one you will do. Roof. Okay, TOF mean top of floor. SSL is structural slab level. So we just put structural slab level. TOF is sorry, top of foundation. Structural slab level, slab level, slab level, slab level. Each floor, how, how much we want to put the height? Let's say I want to put 3.5 meters. Now this is I want to make this as a base slab. So I put it down floor. Then I want to put the ground floor is on the ground. Then foundation will go inside the ground. So I will put one more level inside below. This one I will use minus one point five meter. This is unique. Then the ground floor is also unique. Roof we will put unique. Then whatever you model on ground floor, want to copy to first story, second story, third story. 4 story, 5 story, 6 story, 7 story. So you need to put first story source is base. 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 Then roof. You don't want to copy. From the lower level, yes. then leave it as a unique. Unique means it, it does not depend on the other level. That for seven, six, five, four, this level will follow according to the base level. Then slab thickness. Going to put two hundred. Two hundred. Okay, let's say I want to go to 50. 
मिलीमीटर 250 here we will not put any slab because uh, we want to put by cap or mat foundation or so two fifty two fifty two fifty slab thickness two fifty two slab thickness two fifty then okay so you come and see the workspace area structure status report index logic in the structure you have created all the level this is base story if now we are showing base level and structure 3d if you want to add roof level just click double click then roof level will come then paste foundation you can click double click it will come up okay if you want to make two windows for 3d view then right click horizontal tab then it horizontally top and bottom okay i don't want to do this then move to previous tab it will come back to original then you can make new particle tab so it will show side by side <coughs> after construction level what we can do is we can do grid line so go to model now you click you are you are in the 3d windows that's why you cannot click any grid line tab so you have to go to the lowest level one then you can create a grid line. Grid line we can use grid line parallel parallel quick perpendicular rectangular wizard setter wizard arc and you can import from DHL so we will use rectangular wizard okay just move here you want to zoom in zoom out just scroll your mouse okay now our this is level and grid name. The color you can change. Okay, leave it. Then next. This x start origin is zero comma zero is this x and y coordinate origin point will start from zero comma zero. Okay, leave it. Next. You want to show each direction line only. Then you click is the rising line only. Why only you want to show? But we want to show all lines. Types of grid line dash dot dot dash dot dot. But we will leave it dash dot. Then next. Okay, now is the rising grid line. This direction mean this way. Okay, now is if we put regular four by four main four lane, each lane is six meter width. It's red regular shape. Okay, I want to put five lane. See five lane. One, two, three, four, five. Each lane is six meter. Five lane key in eight. Each lane is eight meter width. Now you see wider. Okay. We don't want to use regular uh, regular then we can go to irregular how many so irregular each grid you need to type first grid we want to use five meter comma five meter comma five meter comma then two grid we want to use four meter two times four. Do you see two two lane 
or middle width okay let's do two times five times four comma six 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 okay five Five, five. Okay. Okay. Now we we don't want to use just three times five, comma two times four, comma three times five. Extraction lane irregular. So this extraction grid line will show as alphanumeric, mean A B C D. There after that we move to next wind direction. Wind direction we will use regular grid. Okay. How many grid we want to use? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Each we will use regular. Five meters. Or you want we want to use irregular okay three times six meter comma two meter comma two meter comma okay and two times Two, comma, three times six. Okay, this is enough. This is why grid wind direction grid is numeric. Means one, two, three, four. Next, rotation. You want to rotate? Thirty degree. Oh, one, one, zero degree. No, it's zero. No rotation. Next. X6 angle, 100 degree. Okay, and 90 degree. Don't make it confused. Okay, now we are finished. Now this is 2D plane. Base level B1. B1 means top of uh, foundation. Then ground floor, first story, second, third, fourth, fifth. Okay. You want to remove this? Cross it. Okay, go back. Move here. Because this is the lowest level, ground floor, roof. Okay. 